Kennedy earlier on. Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Trade Patrick Pruach said PNG's support for China's newly passed national security law is in line with PNG's One China policy. He said the PNG government regards Hong Kong as an integral part of China and the government's position is that China, as a sovereign nation, has an inherent right to pass laws governing its territories. PNG has upheld a one-China policy since the two countries established diplomatic relations more than four decades ago. Pruaj said non-interference in the sovereign affairs of another nation is a key principle enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations. Based on that, he adds that it is appreciated that the national security law are for the purpose of safeguarding national security and the legitimate rights and freedoms of Hong Kong residents. The minister said all this in a statement released to the media. China passed Hong Kong's national security law in late June of 2020. International media reported the law was passed due to 17 years failure by the Hong Kong government to pass similar legislation since the last effort was met with mass protest in 2003. The Hong Kong national security laws criminalize a secession or breakaway, subversion or rebellion, terrorism and collusion with foreign forces with penalties of up to life imprisonment. Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Switzerland and 15 other European Union member states have not supported the law. Shamin Poreambeb, National MTV News.